Oh my god. It's on, baby. <laughs> it is on. All right, let's see. What are we going to do? Um, how about if we give him a little surprise? Wake up. <laughs> yeah, try and break my 7,000 hit point uh, land claim block there, dude. You're not going to get at me so easy this time. Even though it's going to take me about 20 shotgun shells to kill you. This guy is just wrong how tough he is. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play Seven Days on an insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed all the time, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome, with one small green biome right in the middle. And this is a very small biome. Uh, the rest of this map is generated by the Nitrogen World Generator, and it is um, about 95% Wasteland. So anyway, um, if you're watching for the first time, uh, we have, this is episode 50-something, and um, we are currently in uh, the one and only small green biome here, and we're kind of getting leveled up and geared up uh, so we can go back into uh, the mega city here and <clears throat> take it over. Well, just loot the hell out of it, if nothing else, right? Uh, so anyway, I uh, got a couple, some things to update you guys on. I haven't really done much more on the base itself since the last episode. I certainly uh, planned to do that, but just uh, had some other things going on. I uh, spent a lot of time wrenching more cars, getting more gasoline. Um, I started a horde base, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. And um, we are also now able to make the gyrocopter. Woot, woot, woot. All right, so... Um, let's see. The first thing I want to show you is these two things. I found a nail gun in a car when I was out wrenching cars, which is fan freaking tastic Finally got one of those, because uh, I've been using a hammer up to this point. And I also found in a car a blue spruce seed. Now, normally, who cares, right? But that's actually a pretty rare, uh, actually, it's an ultra rare item because of the fact that there is no snow biomes. There are no snow biomes on this map, and so... I thought that was kind of cool. Let's go ahead and plant some blue spruces because why the hell not, right? Um, so, yeah, we found those. Um, we're going to just throw that in there for now. We'll worry about planting it later. And uh, let's get the uh, the nail gun repaired. Very happy to find that. So that's going to really help, you know, with our construction. Um, all right, so let's see. Since we now have a nail gun, we don't really need to carry a hammer around anymore. So let's pull this off of here in case we want to use it for something else. And we're just going to put the hammer in there. This is a structural bay. When health is below 50%, yeah, one hit point every five seconds. Is this something that we could... Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, we do have another slot. But, oh, okay, so it's not going to let us... Structural brace, fortifying grip. So it's it, wait, it decreases melee stamina uses by 10%, increases weapon handling of bows. Boy, I don't know... I don't think I want to give up that decrease in melee stamina usage with uh, with this sledgehammer. So, I mean, that would be nice, but yeah, I think I think we're going to keep that as, as it is. Now, where is our... Here. Do we have... Yeah, we can throw it on here. Why not, why not right? Just so you give it a little bit more... Uh, block damage is really what we use this for, you know, for gut and stuff. Uh, all right, cool. So we got that done. And we got ourselves a freaking nail gun. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see. What are we doing? Um, we are doing duct tape. That's what we need to do. Now, I have, um, I've been mining uh, iron like crazy and just continuing to, you know, pump it into our, our iron slash steel forge. Um, and we've got, I'm going to go ahead and make some um, iron, or I mean some steel crossbow bolts now too. Uh, so let's do that. No, here. Do I need to steal crossbow bolts? Oh. We need archery volume four to make those. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, we'll just save them, because we will probably eventually come across those. And actually, those should go in the ammo mats box. Yeah, I forgot I forgot that we needed a, <clears throat> a special skill for that. So let's put this here okay so anyway the um we've got all the the steel that we need and then some 
uh, to make the gyrocopter, but we also need a bunch of other stuff too. So um, the reason, one of the, the reasons I went out and wrenched a bunch more cars, well, besides the fact that I need more gasoline, uh, was I also needed glue. I was really short on glue. And the desert's a good place, or not the desert, the wasteland's a good place to do that because we get vultures attacking us all the time. There's dogs out there, there's gut piles, you know, so that we could get the bones. And so uh, I made up a whole bunch more glue. Plus we bought a bunch of duct tape right off of the trader straight up too. Um, so what we need for that, let's take a look. Uh, we need a total of 37. These numbers are kind of odd. Huh? Why 187 and 37? Is there some kind of, do I have some kind of a building buff that's reducing that by one or two percent? I'm not really sure. That's just, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, we need a total of 37 duct tape. So we got 25 here and we've got 31 glue plus uh, we got 10 more glue. I think I want to hang on to... A l there's a couple of things I think that require glue itself so let's just hang on to 10 of those and we'll turn the rest of these into duct tapes so let's get those going now and that'll give us enough for the gyrocopter plus a little bit left over because you know we need duct tape for everything else under the sun too okay so we'll sort those all right so what else are we going to need uh, I know Let's go back to here. So we're going to need mechanical parts and leather and electrical parts. We got lots of that stuff. Okay, so that should be enough to get started on the chassis. So let's go ahead and get the chassis crafting up in here. Now, uh, the accessories. What do we need for that? So we need headlights and iron pipes and springs headlights iron pipes and springs so let's get the uh, accessories cooking up in there okay cool and then we can put all this stuff back in here for the moment when uh, that is done I'm still making a, a little bit more duct tape here uh, when that's done uh, for the gyrocopter proper we're gonna need three wheels an engine and a battery Okay, so we got engines, we got batteries, uh, wheels. I thought I had one wheel. I do have one wheel. That should probably be in the vehicle's chest, not that it matters that much. Uh, we're going to need a couple acids. We're going to need some coal, which we got tons of. Uh, we're going to need some oil, which we got tons of. And we already have some iron ingots. Yeah, so I think, I think that's good. So, let's... Um, Oh, and we need polymer, uh, scrap polymers too. Okay, so let's get two more of those going. Polymer back, put the coal back. All right. Let's grab one more duct tape and we'll make uh, four more repair kits just so we have uh, a full stack. Because we have 21 and we'll make four more. Excellent. Okay. We'll put the rest of this steel in here for now. We will be needing lots more steel later on. Because we're going to use it in our... Um, we're going to use it in uh, for our, our horde base design. So we're going to need tons and tons and tons and tons of steel. And after that, we're going to need tons more. So lots of steel coming up on the horizon for us. Okay, let's see. What else? What else? We've got uh, we got quite a bit of, of concrete going on because I mined up a bunch of stone, so that's going on. Um, and we're you know we're cooking it up in here, so I just continue to crank out um, you know the concrete like there's no tomorrow, like it was the end of the world or something, uh, which it is. So let's do this. We'll just continue to queue up more. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten any screamers yet but it's going to happen soon because i am really cranking out the heat but that's okay because our base is like pretty kick ass right now uh when it comes i've had i actually have had a running horde come in and they're basically the the iron spikes are just annihilating them i mean they're not even getting down into my little pit there uh so that's working out really well in fact we should probably we got some iron yeah let's go down while we're waiting for the rest of this stuff to cook up let's go down and uh, we're gonna have to repair a couple of spikes uh, because of the fact that uh, 
we had a running horde come in. So they all kind of came in from this direction. So we just kind of need to look. Yeah, see, there's one right there. Oh, man, I love the nail gun. We finally got a nail gun. It's been a long time. Chassis is done and accessories are done. Let's make ourselves a gyrocopter, guys. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Uh, one of the first things I think we're going to do with that gyrocopter is we're going to go back to our, our prison base, which is way back up up here. Yeah. It's actually not... It's not really that far away. Uh, especially by gyrocopter. Yeah, it's not really that far away. So, yeah, we're going to go back up to our prison base and um, g just get... Wait, is that the right place? Yeah, because there's the football field. Uh, just, you know, get the rest of our, our stuff, or at least, you know, the stuff that's worth getting. I might leave a few basic supplies there, but I don't know. Probably not, because... Honestly, I'm not really planning on on going anywhere else for the rest of this series other than the Mega City, you know, to speak of. Now, I do kind of travel around, you know, the outside of the uh, of the Greenbaum just, you know, to harvest the resources like the cars and stuff. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll get there and I'll just kind of assess what we have and then decide what's val you know, what's valuable enough to be worthwhile, you know, to bring back here. Anyway, okay. So we're wait. <coughs> excuse me, waiting for this to finish. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Uh, I do have a, a fetch quest, and it is in town. It's here in the Green Bramps, the Old House Victoria. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. So let's take some pipe bombs with us, and maybe what we'll do too is... I've been making some Molotovs. Let's take some of those too. We're going to start... Uh, we're going to start uh, putting the herd on these guys a little more. Now here's the other thing I'm going to do. Um, I There's really no reason for me... To, um, to keep a land claim block here, right? Because I built this, so we're not going to... We don't have to worry about spawns coming in. And I have no intention of picking anything up and moving it. This is pretty much going to be the layout of the base for the rest of this playthrough. And uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, instead of setting down uh, wood frames to block entries, because, you know, we get, you get like a freaking feral uh, biker... And he, you know, he's going to break that thing in like two hits. It's just, he just an annihilates it. Um, so I think we'll start using these, you know, to block the passages. And that'll buy us a little bit more time, you know, as we start to fight these harder level zombies. And then, you know, we can throw pipe bombs at them. We can throw molotovs at them and, you know, soft them up even more as we go. Okay, so that's, that's kind of going to be our MO moving forward when it comes to that. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is I do have two points, and I was kind of hanging on to those. Uh, I was planning on, you know, putting them putting them into intellect to get up to intellectual so we can make the 4x4. Four four. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just kind of see how well <coughs> the um, the gyrocopter serves us. Now, it's not going to have as much storage space, uh, you know, as the 4x4 four four does, and that's kind of one of the main reasons I want the 4x, but... You know, we're certainly going to be able to get around in a lot better just because, you know, we can fly instead of having to go across land. So I'll, I'll, I'll just see, you know, how I'm feeling about the gyrocopter as, and whether or not I want to still put points into this. Now, we could still also come across the schematic, too. I think I think we need... Let's take a look. I think we need both of the schematics, actually. So there's a, there's a decent chance that we'll eventually come across both of these schematics, too. Um, so that's the other thing, you know, to keep in mind. All right, now, I can't... Can I have two land claim blocks at the same time? Oh, I can. I, they probably won't stack, though. Yeah, let's just make a couple, since it does take... Well, it doesn't take that long to make them. Um, so, that means, what are we going to do with our points, then? What are we going to do with these points? Now, I have been focused on strength. To get these guys up to maximum, we'd have to get strength level 7. Now, if we got strength level 7... We would also be able to do Shotgun Master, which would allow us to make a blue shotgun and just give us, you know, make us even better with the shotguns. Not to mention, uh, set us up, you know, for Skull Crusher 2, uh, you know, to put some more points into that. So there's a lot of stuff in here. These two, Skull... There's a Screamer. Skull Crusher and Boomstick. Or Deadeye. Yeah, we don't even have one point in that. So, yeah, my sniping's not the best, but, man, I just don't... 
I don't know if I want to put any more points in here. Now, Demolitions Expert actually would serve us quite well, too. So, I mean, if we focused on Perception a little bit, we could get that eye up. We could get Demolitions Expert up. Um, what does this require? See, and if we got it to 7, then we could get Lucky Looter 5 and Salvage 5. So that would be worth doing, too. I mean, it's just hard to decide what to do because there's so many good things we could do. Really wouldn't be a bad idea to put a few more points into this too, just because that's still our oh shit weapon. And you know, when we're when we're sh when we're unloading an M60 on a green irradiated biker and he's not dying, that's that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Oh man. And then of course, I've been talking all along, you know, that we want to pump agility so that we can, you know, be, you know, kind of do more of a stealth build. But you know what I think is probably going to happen with this is we're probably going to at some point have to take Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir and do a respec um, before we go into here. I just don't think right now is a good time to try and to spec into this. So I think we should spec into the stuff that's going to keep us alive. And then at some point in the future, I'll probably mind wipe and then we'll go balls out on a stealth build um, at that point. That's kind of what, you know, what's in my head for that. Okay, so that being said... Um, I think what I'm going to do is let's just go ahead and get strength up to seven. And that's going to give us four things. Uh, we can get the two mining skills up to level five. We can get boomstick up to level four and skull crusher. Uh, we can put more points into two. I don't think we need sexy T any higher than it, than it currently is. And um, I think that's, that's a good way to spend points. And then what we'll probably do after that is we'll probably switch to fort and get this up a little bit higher now what else do we have and for a pain tolerance definitely would be good i don't know i might consider one more point in that but definitely wouldn't mind more pain tolerance and more machine gunner uh in this tree in fact i almost think maybe we should do that right now i think we need four to two three for this right um yeah you know what let's do that Let's bring Ford up to three so we can put uh, the next time we level, um, we can put another point into this. I think that's probably what, what, what we should do. Oh, I was going to show you. I was going to show you my Ford base, too. So um, I have mentioned to you guys a couple of times now. Here we go. Um, that I was going to do a hanging, a hanging base design. And so... So want to make sure we weren't falling and so i kind of started on this um and um so i, I started you know digging the shaft and, and i'm digging it right over the top of an iron mine too that way we get you know a bunch of iron as we as we do this uh but the basic idea here is that we're going to dig all the way down to bedrock and we're going to have a shaft that's um two by two uh however it's you know it's of course it's five uh or i'm sorry four by four here because i'm going to line it with concrete all the way down um, but it's going to be a two by two shaft with, you know, with a sliding ramp into it. And um, the zombies are going to drop down into a pit where the, where the bottom of that pit's going to be bedrock. So it's indestructible. And then we're going to be kind of in a hanging uh, contraption above that pit, five blocks above it. And the reason we're doing five blocks is because that's the radius for a, uh, 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 what the hell are they called? Demo, a demolition zombie explosion. Um... And I'm going to do it in such a way that the zombies are kind of forced into the pit, so, sort of like we did with our base. And then, you know, they're going to blow the shit out of them. Uh, so, you know, explosives are going to be a huge part of that design. This is going to take me a while to build, though, um, because once we get down, I don't know, 12, 15 blocks or so from bedrock, you know, then I have to build, uh, I have to dig out a much larger chamber. Uh, so it's going to take me a while to do this. And, and I'm going to do almost all of this off camera, of course, but I will give you guys updates uh, you know, as it, uh, as it progresses. Okay. We're running out of time here. Um, but I want to get, let's at least get started on this quest here. This is a fetch quest. Uh, you know, so we don't have to, we don't have to clear the place, but we'll kind of just see how nasty it is and then go from there. So it's going to be this house here. And I'm not, hmm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure where the end loot is in this place. I think I've done it before, but I don't remember. So we're going to climb up this uh, lattice working again, going through the scene. So let's just do it. 
um, and go from there because, like I said, I'm not really sure where uh, where we're supposed to go to get to the in loots and because <clears throat> we're kind of running out of time here. Let's just get started and do it correctly. Do it good and proper like. Just getting the grass out of that way of that, so. Oh, you know what? Something occurred to me. This is going to clear the grass. <laughs> it already did. Okay. Um, let's put... What do we want to put in here? You know what? I'm not... Do we need... I don't think we need the nail gun, do we? Yeah, let's take it with us, just in case we actually do need to repair something. So let's put explosives here. We're not likely to use the, uh, the rifle. So actually what we'll do is we'll put explosives there and molotovs there. Okay, let's do this. Make sure everybody's loaded up here. You're loaded? Okay. So this is a fetch. So we don't have to clear the whole place, but what I want to do at the very least is I want to, you know, do the fetch itself, of course. And also, um, you know, get the fat loops at the end of the tunnel, which my guess is that's probably going to be in the basement since we're starting out on the roof on this place. I am vaguely remember doing this, but I don't actually remember doing this. <laughs> I, what I'm trying to say is I probably have, but I just haven't done it enough to, to recognize it, you know, on where we're supposed to go. Uh, speaking of which, where are we supposed to go? I think probably over here. Generally, yeah, you want to follow the lights, if you guys didn't know that, because the lights are kind of telling you, pointing the direction you're supposed to be going in. Uh, will be nice at some point for us to get uh, a silencer. I'm tempted to grab that cobble, too. Uh, we still need more cobble to finish up, uh, up the base, but I don't know. It's pretty easy to make, too, so let's not waste our time with that. Oh my god. It's on, baby. <laughs> it is on. Alright, let's see. What are we gonna do? Um, what's the best weapon for us to have? Well, here. Let's just put that there in case we need to uh, repair. Because, I mean, he could try and bust through the walls here, too. But and Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's actually toughen those up a little bit. Okay. Well, the, one of the scariest zombies in the game right there. Um, how about if we give him a little surprise? Wake up! <laughs> yeah, try and break my 7,000 hit point, uh, land claim block there, dude. Not gonna get at me so easy this time. Even though it's gonna take me about 20 shotgun shells to kill you. This guy is just wrong how tough he is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, let's, let's actually leave that there for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, let's bust that out. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll keep a, a frame up there. So we can pop back out of there quickly if we want to still use that as a choke point. I'm really surprised, too, that that explosion didn't get anybody else's attention. Okay, this is just a, a closet with a backpack up there. Is there anything else up here? I don't think so. Okay, let's go this way. So it looks like <coughs> the quest wants us to go up. Yeah, that's all blocked off. Okay, well, let's just let's just go the route that the quest wants us to go. Uh, we do have to go down, of course, to get the satchel. Man, I hate coming up through these things. Well, okay, nothing's going to sneak up behind us. At least we know that. Okay, let's get rid of this. All right. Call me a wimp if you want, you guys, but you saw what happened to me. <laughs> you saw what happened to me in the last episode, or the last time we attempted to See, we got irradiated something, something over there. Um, boy, can they get through that little slot there? I don't know if they can or not. Let's just make sure that they can't. Or at least discourage that from happening. Right. What? I was gonna say, he can... He can get over there? Okay. Easy probably can. Well, he, yeah, he can just climb up the block. Okay, we got somebody else's attention. But, wherever they are, they're not... They're not this way. Get rid of that glass. We don't need that right now. Is there anything in there? Got a broken.
broken suitcase. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Could these Ikaruskis in there? Um, here, let's do this. Yeah, well, what we'll do is we'll block it off there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he can't get up there because it, it doesn't go all the way to the floor. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, we just blew our escape route. <laughs> We're not going back up that way. Okay. What's in here? Nothing? There's... Yeah, another backpack. This is just like the other room we were at earlier. Weird. Okay. It is a potential place we could retreat to momentarily, so let's get the door uh, healed up there. Or... You know what I'm talking about. Healed, repaired. Same thing. Almost. Sort of. Okay, anything good in here? We're still looking for, uh, for nerdies. We still have not found nerdy glasses. Um, that... We don't need... We're just gonna scrap. Oh, well, hello there. Off with your head. Okay, we still have to go down further to get to our, our thing. Okay, let's get rid of this. And let's harvest this. Nothing up there. There's a Hawaii Five-O in there. Okay, um, let's put that down, and just reinforce that part of the wall and that part. Um, what was I supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to have pipe bombs there. That's what I'm supposed to have. Okay. Wake up, little Susie. <laughs> I love it. Oh, irradiated. Yeah, try and break that, buddy. Not so easy, is it? Okay. Um, again, like we did before, let's just uh, leave this here for the moment so we have a place to retreat to if we need to. Um, however, if we are going to do that, we're going to want to be able to quickly put a frame up, so we have to have one on our, our toolbar here. Okay. Okay, nothing over here. You know what? I don't want either one of those things right now. There's not going to be anything behind that. Okay. So, yeah. Let's leave that there a little bit longer. Nope. Nobody behind there. Okay. So, they want us to go downstairs, which is fine because that's the way we need to go. Is there anything in here? Nope. Oh, looks like that opens up all the way out to the outside. Anybody in here? Don't think so. Okay, we'll take that. Not that we need it, really, but we'll take it. I don't think there's going to be anything behind that mirror. I think stuff generally is only behind pictures and not mirrors and TVs and windows. Could be wrong about that, I guess. Get some... Uh, nah, we don't need... Well, you know what? What the hell? We'll scrap it. Not going to take the lead. Just isn't worth it. Um, because I can go mine up thousands of it in a, in a mine real quickly. Now, we're not keeping those because those also are very easily made. Let's break this and check it anyway, even though I know there's not going to be anything behind there. Okay. So. Yeah, that just leads back out to there. I wonder where this goes to. Just curious. Into another room, I guess. Uh, but obviously we're not supposed to go that way, so let's just stick with the pathway for now. Well, we got a, a quick way out of the house <laughs> if, we, if we need it. Okay. Let's go look over here. We're going around that way. Okay, so the, the satchel is on this floor. It's good to know. Let's take a drink. Okay, we'll head over this way. Yeah, if if I have done this place before, I don't I don't recognize it. Completely don't recognize it. And there still are even vanilla uh, POIs that I haven't done yet. Okay, should we use this as a choke point? 
I think that's probably a good idea. Let's get another one of those crafting. We'll stick that guy right there. Let's get rid of this stuff. Hey, come over here, dummies. Off with his head. Okay. Same idea. Let's just leave this open for the moment. Oh, nice. I do have the, um, I do have the thing to make the large medikits, too, so. Don't see anything in there. Laundry room. Uh, that's probably worth keeping the cell. Well, that probably is, too. Nice! Another set of red running shoes and some military armor parts. I'll take those. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is, if we get into trouble, um, let's get rid of that. We don't need that stuff. We'll run back out here quickly and try and get a frame up there before whatever's chasing us gets us. That's the plan, anyway. We can take that right now. I will take the coffee grounds. Uh. Ooh, nice. I uh, don't need that. I'll definitely take that. I mean, I already have an another blue wrench back at the base, but nothing else we can sell it. I'll take those. Uh. We don't need more hydration at the moment. Let's get the brass from this. Maybe we should uh, run out to uh, the bike and just drop some of this stuff off. Okay. Is this where we're supposed to go? Yep. All right, well, um, where's the bike? The bike's back that direction. I'm just going to kind of temporarily do this. So if something does come up the stairs, they can't. It'll buy us a couple of seconds anyway. Because we're going to have to go down there for the fat loots. But we got to find this satchel. So it is right over this way. Uh, yeah, I'll take both of those things. We must have passed the satchel up already. Here we go. Okay, satchel's done. Let's go uh, to our bike and just offload our stuff here. Probably would have been faster just to bust through the wall, but whatever. Whatevs. Yeah, definitely would have been faster to bust through the wall. Okay, so let's see. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that, or that, or that. Um, probably don't need the shovel. I uh, don't need the iron. Don't need that thing of gasoline or the paper. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so, uh, we're done with the quest, which is good, because that means if we fail it, we still at least can turn the quest in. But we gotta get the fat loots. So, let's go do that. Uh, which is this way over here. I wonder if we can get anybody's attention. Nope. Okay. Hmm, oh. Is there anybody sneaking up in there? No, but there's a backpack. There isn't really enough room for a zombie to be up there, except for maybe a crawler, I guess.
It's like a home theater. You know what? I have been in this POI before. So I remember that. I actually remember that. Where do we go from here, though? Oh, there's another... Wait, yeah, I don't know. Where do we go from here? How much you want to bet there's some Zeekers behind those curtains there? Pay no attention to the zombie behind the curtain. All right, well, let's go, um... Let's go loot this. What? we get it from here? Oh, there we go. Okay, take both of those. Anything inside of here? Nope. Those are all just cabinets. Okay, trash that. Scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle. You know what? I'm gonna trash that. I've got so much of that stuff back at the base. We just don't need to carry it right now. Alright, well, I have a feeling something's gonna jump out any minute here and just scare the bejeebies out of me. Um, how do we play this? I think we get the M60 out and we just go to town. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to block that off. I could do it. Oh, oh my goodness, there could have been Zekers behind there. Wow, you know what, too? Um, we did the, the bookstore. We did the bookstore in, I think it was my last Dead is Dead episode. And there was like a, a projector screen and there was a bunch of zombies behind it. Okay, well, hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. Give ourselves a little bit of extra firepower there. I suppose what we could do is... Yeah, see, it's not gonna let us put anything up against her. I think that's gonna be too much of a hassle. So... Let's just go. Can we break it without getting anybody's attention? Hmm, okay. This is gonna be a really hard place to have, you know, to have crowd control. Let's leave that thing there for now. Get all the triggers out of the way. Nobody over here. Don't see anybody up that way either. Okay. <clears throat> this uh this episode is running really long. Uh you, there's gotta be zombies in this in this room. I can't imagine there wouldn't be. Oh shit! As long as they're not irradiated. Oh, there's an irradiated. Barrel too. Oh, man. <laughs> that was crazy. Whew, okay. I knew something like that was going to happen. It just, uh, they came from a place that I wasn't expecting them to. Yeah, see, that's why, that is why we've got to get... We've got to get our machine gunner skill up. I mean, I, sh I should have slaughtered those guys at point blank range, but as you can see, they weren't being slaughtered. <laughs> oh, gosh. I had a few more rounds in the M62, but I was afraid I was going to run out. So they all broke out of that room. Oh, bastards. Okay. Yeah, let's just leave the, the thing there. Now, uh, we do have... There's nobody hiding behind here, right? We do have um, a bit of a choke point there that we can use. So, let's get, uh, let's get that out, but, I don't know, I have a feeling like there's probably nothing right behind this door. This is nerve-wracking, man, I'll tell you what, because, again, there's just not a lot of places that you can do crowd control down here. Yeah, it looks like that's the fat loot's room. Don't see any Zekers in there. All right, I think we did it. I think we did it. I'll bet you that goes up into the garage outside. Okay, let's loot. Oh, nice, another burning jack mine. I'll take that. Okay, that's decent. 
Okay. And the big prize. Eh. <laughs> Alright. Well, here's what it is. Let's open the shamways. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Uh, let's just eat these. Let's get rid of those, get rid of that. And uh, those will probably repair and sell. Uh, let's eat one of these, and let's drink this. Get rid of that, scrap doodle that, and it gives us uh, a few more spaces. Okay, uh, so let's go back and get our, our junk turret. Is there anything back there? I don't think so. Yeah, that was that was kind of disappointing loot overall. Yeah, this is in the garage. There is a, a decent amount of concrete and cobble in this place. Oh, nice. That was good. That's good. All right, guys. Well, that's it then uh, for this POI. And um, we got to wrap up this episode, too. Man, we are, we're like really gone over, haven't we? We haven't really gone over enough for me to do this in a two-part series so i'm probably going to have to i don't know edit something out or maybe we'll go chipmunk mode to try and get the time down a little bit uh but we'll see how it goes uh, i'll just see what i can do in editing but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video i will continue uh doing off camera work but um my plan is probably the next episode is we will uh, jump in our new shiny new driver copter and we're going to head back to the prison base and uh, get all uh, or at least uh, some of our stuff there and bring it back to our main base, okay? Take care. Stay safe. Be away, Stay away from other people. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.